Hello friends, welcome to your own channel on artificial intelligence and machine learning. We are learning Apache Airflow. As part of this playlist, today we are going to learn how to trigger a DAG with config parameters. Let me explain you what I mean by with config parameters. Here is a DAG. I want to run this DAG with some config parameters. So here you can see we get a screen where I can change the logical date. I'm just setting it one date 12 January. Okay. And here I can pass some config parameters. So let me pass a config parameters. Note. I am running the DAG for a date which is backdated. Second, I am passing some parameters. How do I capture these parameters is what we are going to see. Let us run the code trigger. The DAG is running. We will see in calendar. And here you see the green symbol which is showing running. I will click here. This DAG, we can now go and check the graph view of it. The DAG is in process and it's completed. Okay, let me now explain the code. These are my, the first four till here are our standard imports. Here, I am now importing get current context and I have time. The reason I have taken time is because I wanted to show the calendar. So I kept a sleep of 15 seconds. Okay. Get current context. This is the function which is being invoked as part of the code. And here is this function being called in the Python operator. So what you have to understand is this piece of code. The entire code is in this one screen. This entire code is in one screen. You can pause the video and type the syntax. Okay. When we invoke a function through Python callable, we can pass it parameters and by default, many context parameters are available. If we want to access those context parameters, we need to use this keyworded arguments. Okay. Now I have given the keyword arguments as one of the parameters. So many of the context parameters will be available. Using the get current context, I can access all of these context parameters. And when I say print, I can display it. So let us see, first of all, what are the context parameters which are available? So here in the log, this is where the function will be executed. And when I go in the log, context value this is the print statement where we said context value and then all of these context parameters are available config dag dag run this one this dag run is actually a manual triggered so it says it is manually triggered and we executed it for 12th January, so it shows that. Then many other parameters are there. And there will be a parameter saying execution date. Okay, so this is execution date with timestamp. And there will be a parameter saying logical date. This is the parameter which we changed in the DAG when I selected the logical date okay so first of all 
we can get many of these context parameters. Now, from many of these context parameters, I want to specifically take logical date. So I write the syntax kwrx logical date. In case you want some other parameter, in that case, for example, I want date interval start. So you can write this, you can copy paste and this syntax. And this becomes your, you can give any variable name, date, interval, start, something like that. I hope you understand how to get the value of context parameters which are passed by default. Okay, so this is what I have explained so far. Great. Now let's move forward. There are many such context parameters as you can see. Okay. Let us now see the custom parameter. This custom parameter is what we pass when we trigger a DAG for example, once again, I will go back and trigger it. So let me go DAGs and this is DAG with config parameters. I will trigger it once again, trigger DAG with config. I'll give some other date this time, say probably 18 January, okay. And here, what this says, configuration JSON optional must be dictionary object. So you have to pass additional parameters. If any additional parameters you wish to pass, you will have to pass it as a JSON, as a dictionary. So this becomes key and this becomes the value. Once again, let me trigger it. So this time it is 18 January. So I trigger it and I go to calendar, it will not show directly. So here from here, we have to go and see the calendar and this is the execution and graph view. So this is under execution because we have given a sleep of 15 seconds. That's why it is taking some time to execute and that was intentional. Otherwise I could not have demonstrated the calendar from calendar going to the graph view and so forth. Okay, we passed this as a dictionary object. How do we capture this information? So we can say kwargs dag run config get and whatever is the key. You can pass multiple custom parameter and using the key you can access the value of that custom parameter. Now comes the most important part. Why would you require this feature? See, typically you would use Airflow for orchestrating your ETL extract transform load data engineering work. And you would schedule probably the ETL DAG to run on a daily basis. One fine day you wish to run the DAG on a backdated. Sorry, you wish to run the DAG on a backdated date. Probably for one particular date, the data was not prepared properly. In that case, this would be a useful functionality. So what we can do? We can write some conditional statements to see whether the code is being executed as a backdated date or it is a 
normal execution. I have put a very simple logic here. If the logical date and the current date, which I am taking directly in the code, the date part is same, then I will assume it is part of a normal scheduled execution. If they are not same, I would assume it is like a backdated execution. You can apply a logic according to your own requirement. Another important application, you are generating some automated reports and you want to generate report for some backdated date. You can use this functionality. Second important thing, when you are running this code and you want that the code should be run for only some specific reports, what you can do? You can trigger the DAG and here you can pass a dictionary object where you specify the list of reports for which the backdated execution should run and that list values you can capture using some syntax like this. Definitely this part of the code you will have to write your own logic to handle those scenarios. But the main important thing is how to trigger a DAG with a backdated date and how to capture those parameters. And here I have said print backdated execution and print the value of the custom parameter. Let us see whether the DAG run actually shows those information. So here we executed the DAG for one of these dates, uh, which I understand was 18th January. So here, now what is also more important that you have to understand, let me demonstrate it by running this code once again. That is important to note. I'll take this custom parameter. This time around, I will say it say 24 January. Trigger. Let us go and see the calendar. In calendar, you can see it shows on 24th January. I click it here. When you see the grid view, it will show you 23rd January. Reason it will show 23rd January because 23rd January would be the start date and 24th January would be the end date. Why one day before? Because this DAG has been scheduled to run on a daily basis. So when I trigger it for 24th January, it assumes the start date would be one day prior and end date would be the date and time when that DAG is being triggered. I hope you understood this. So I click this DAG. I want to see the graph view and I want to see the log whether it printed backdated. Yes, it has printed the backdated execution as per our if else condition. And because it has been able to capture the custom parameter, is it showing the custom parameter? Yes, this is the value which we passed in the custom parameter. What does it read? If you have benefited from our videos, then like, share and subscribe to the channel. I hope you got the message. If you are benefiting from these videos, 
then I request you to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Let your friends and colleagues know about these videos and don't restrict the knowledge to yourself. Signing off. Thank you. Bye bye. See you in upcoming video.